Hello my friends and welcome back to Storm Over Europe. It's episode 9. 9, 9, 9, 9. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. Let's free up my units to move from here. I'm just going to bounce these guys. Like this. efficient thing I've ever done, but whatever. Just maneuvering my units into position here, really, more than anything else. Seven turns left. It's not a lot of time. At least I can get rid of this. That's the most useful that 10 centimeters has been. <laughs> okay, I'll just put this here to zone of control so that no one can get next to it. Got him. Seven three and seven two. Ouch. That unit is going to be a problem. However, it is set to ultra aggression, so if I put a unit here, it will attack. Let's hope that that's enough. Meanwhile, I'll move over here to start putting this unit in a pin. put this in a pin. I don't think it's got much support, so... Unfortunately, this is like all mountain tiles, so... Putting it in a pin will be slightly awkward, but anyway. I'll figure it out. What do you mean? 
doing? Why would you put yourself in such a vulnerable position? Okay, that's good. Access to the area behind these would be super nice to have. Okay, there's an artillery. Oh, it's still hurt. It still hurt absolutely immensely. <laughs> I can't remember if there was something over there. If I remember correctly, there wasn't. Okay, there's some infantry. This is not a critical objective tile, so they could leave that tile, potentially. And that would definitely be not good. I think I'll have to wait a turn to put these guys in a pin. But that, that will be fine. Right, I genuinely don't have the time to wait for these guys, so let's just go. And this is why Butcher is such an amazing trait. It's way more powerful than people give it credit for. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Can you reach over there? Oh, just barely not. It's annoying. Remember, this is not one of my units, so uh, if it dies, it dies, as it were. At least it's out. This unit's out in the open now where tanks can get to it, so. Okay, that thing is super entrenched. Also super encircled. So, that's it now. He's he's done. Unless like there's a horde of tanks here that's just going to swoop in and save him, but I think 
that is unlikely. I'm down. I wanted to take it as well to prevent the uh, prevent the Spanish from taking it and thus claim the prestige. As the prestige situation this early on is obviously, you know, not fantastic or anything. I got six turns to make it happen. This hex here. This one's gonna be easy. As soon as I move this here, and this this is pinned, that's it. Just gotta wait for the uh, the grip to get them. I can also use my aircraft to just chip away at it every turn. I could even send these engineers down here to uh, help clear it faster. The real issue is this one up here. I gotta get up there fast. I need to see what's up there and to get up there. Okay, this is not one of my units so I can actually be incredibly aggressive with it. Nice. I guess that unit is going to be obsessed with trying to kill that till the day it dies. That's fine though. Ironically, he might be leading them to a good position. Because now they might just cut up here and go behind the hex, but they haven't got a lot of time. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh. That was aggressive. Spy plane. Spy plane, ready. Okay, it's engineers. So yes, I need to get up there fast. And at the very least, uh, entomb them. Oh, you would. That's as far as you're going, so you might as well. Do it. It's expensive, but I need I need two units to pin this as fast as possible so we can start getting them sweet suppression bonuses. He's not going to move because of the type of tile he's in. So I'm not endangering my artillery by erasing it here. Run! Is this unsuppressed now? Um, let's 
Let's give him a little love tap. Just to make sure that, that entrenchment goes away. Good work. Can I get a cross? Okay, for some reason this is really effective. <laughs> Got him. Okay, I've got this anti-aircraft gun pinned. And I wouldn't mind the capture. I already captured a small amount of these before. They're actually very good. All right, they're pinned. This is a risky pin if these guys move. They probably won't because they are entrenched. But you never know. Actually, they're gonna go after something they can go after this flat gun. A less a less expensive unit. It also actually hits back pretty hard. Early flat guns are actually pretty good against infantry. Soft attack six. Okay, so that's pinned. This should be an easy takedown with the pin going. That's also pinned. I just gotta worry about this up here. Oh, they, they are going for it. They're going around the back. That's great. If they get rid of that anti-aircraft gun. That would be huge. Oh, that's really annoying. I wanted the money from that hex. Oh, well. Whoa! What? Okay, I've never seen that before. That's got to be a script. They actually fled the uh, critical objective hex. I've never seen the AI give up a critical objective hex before. Like, for any reason. So that is certainly a new one on me. Also, uh, 
put themselves in a fantastically bad position here. Plane. Sure, why not? It's not one of my units. I'll finish the job on that. This base down here is undefended, isn't it? Yeah. Some free money. Which I will gladly take. Yeah, I can't believe what just happened. I've never seen a unit that's been assigned to a critical objective to just actually leave the critical objective. This is something that we need to remember for the rest of this mod. For the rest of this campaign is that some of them are scripted to do that. hit them so I can set up the pin. Could start attacking this. I'm worried though that attacking it might like wake it up, if you know what I mean, and I don't want it to, so. It's raining. Engineers are actually quite valuable. Oh, of course, but the engineers left the thing. Time to die. Can anyone else reach that up there? So, I don't want to move this up here. I want to move it behind here, both for the damage and the, uh, and the pin. But if I do that, the Spanish will probably run a unit up there and capture that. Actually, it doesn't look like any of their units can reach, so I'll just do this. D 
<laughs> and initial uh, suddenly initial D. <laughs> All right, I think we'll call that done. scouted this so many times I know what's here okay I'll pin these boys and then I'll take them out because why not it's uh, it's free money that's free real estate okay there's genuinely nothing left to do except to capture this and that is it I thought I was going to be a bit short on turns, but as it turns out, I have uh, plenty of time. I probably should have just left that if I wanted the money. Oh well. Alright, that's all the objectives completed. So much for winning and getting bonus prestige, right? Well, prestige per turn is zero anyway, so it's whatever. It looks like this has been designed where the uh, a battle timer or whatever you want to call it doesn't go away. This is actually a really good plane because it's a recon that can attack. So it's going to gain EXP mega fast if it's used correctly. I actually need artillery to break that. But it's going to be fully suppressed next turn anyway. Okay, looks like the Spanish units have lost the will to live. Which is fine, I guess. moved again, despite moving into a mountain tile. Wrecked. That's it, right? There's nothing left. Right? I don't think there's anything left on the whole map. I think we cleaned it all. Like a giant tide pod. Our enemies are routed. The first phase of the offensive has been a complete success. But I fear we do not have time to celebrate. Are you sure? I will inform him immediately. The Republicans are launching a counterattack in the south near the city of Cordoba. Cordoba? The general in charge of the city is desperately asking for help.
Glorious. Now let's hopefully get a hero that's not utter garbage. I can't even think of a case for Sixth Sense. Do you know what? It's the kind of hero I should probably just sell for prestige. That's how bad it is. I can't. I, I just. I genuinely can't think of a good use for Sixth Sense. Except on, I guess, maps where it snows all the time. I guess, like, it could be useful on, um... A tank with double moved used for scouting or something? I don't know. It's hard to imagine. I'm afraid the situation here is worse than we even imagined. Republicans under General Mija, I guess. Maja. Are prepared to launch an all out offensive over a broad area with the ultimate goal of taking Cordoba. Be hard pressed to stop them, but stop them we must. There is no time to waste. Hold Cordoba at the end of the battle. Governor Cas Casajo must survive. Secondary objective: destroy thirty Republican units. Hold six victory hexes at the end of the battle. Do not have the manpower to stop the enemy's assault everywhere. I must be ready con to concede ground and decide where we can establish the best defensive positions. However, above all else, the city of Cordoba must specifically be held at all costs. General Valvarelia has stressed the point that the governor must survive. Cordoba garrisons primary allegiance to their leader rather than the nationalist movement as a whole. His death would likely result in the loss of their support and endanger the entire operation. It's going to be a broad front. However, we hope they will at least buy us enough time to get our forces into good defensive positions. General Franco hopes that together our forces will be able to inflict a heavy enough toll on the Republicans to the point where their offensive sputters out before reaching Cordoba at all. I agree this may be our only option if we are to prevail. If we succeed in bleeding the enemy dry then perhaps once the enemy is significantly weakened we can go on the counterattack. Terrain is hilly and offers a lot of good defensive ground. Some additional artillery pack and flat units may be something to consider. Hey, ignores entrenchment. That's not bad at all. See, we have some Italian allies with us too. Okay. So the enemy's coming from up here. Okay, these five strength units are going to fold like tissue paper. And the enemy's going to attack from down here. Hold six victory hexes at the end of the scenario. If we were going to choose six, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Probably this group down here. 
forget this one, forget this one, forget this one. That probably seems like a reasonable way to do it. But that is it for now, so join me next time for a deployment episode. I will see you then.